All right, so this, I think, might be one of, if not maybe the best, ungeared PvP team right now, if you are a whale. So, I'm sorry, but you have to all CC every time. You have to go first every single time, and this should be, in theory, the best one. Either this or still mono green. Uh, I actually did actually check for this week, and uh, I saw someone was using this. Um, this guy, I think. Yep, he's, a, he's also using this. Although he does have Tarmia link on Zeldris. I thought of using Green Sauria on Zeldris for more debuffs, for more damage. But super fast. You have the Pierce cards or anything like that. You have the massive attack related stat buffs. And you have um, buff removal from Chandler. Which I think is huge. Because I think Mon the first person here has Mono Green, right? But he has Galvar. He doesn't have uh, um, Echidna. And I think the reason for that is because a very... Very common team right now in Ungeared is Blue Elizabeth with Ult Rush, right? You see it all the time, and I think it's one of the biggest, you know, counters you're going to be facing if you're using Mono Green, and it straight up obliterates you, right? Because if you're using full AoEs, there is nothing you can do about it, right? But with Chandler, you can actually buff remove, and if Galfer, you could potentially seal. So let's just do uh, this right here. Uh, does he have dodge food? He does not. That's two debuffs for more pierce damage. And, you know, because Zeldris attack lowers by 18% and Kusok in the back is also um, crit chance and crit damage lowering, our team is way tankier than uh, otherwise would be, right? So we should be able to tank this uh, turn here. Level 2 AoE is pretty scary, but yeah, misses most crits. And we're good. A level 2 AoE and surviving, that's pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty scary right there, but let's, uh, let's wipe them out. And then Zelgers will come in from the back, but he will be not of really that much trouble to deal with. So yeah, this team is pretty powerful. And you see, I am actually not using Asterosa. Uh, because, I mean, he has single targets. So it's not the fastest. So this is like the fastest team. If you want to climb like these... F I, I don't know what you call them. Flexors? I don't know. Like With 12,000 points, I think the first guy had like 11,000, something like that. Why do you have 11,000 points in Ungeared? I don't... <laughs> Uh, just for fun, I, I guess. I mean, if it's fun. Uh, who has Tarmio Link? I, I need to seal. I actually, just seal. I don't. I didn't want to debuff for the attack lore and stuff like that from Scotty, but I feel like I do need to seal their healing to the next turn. Uh, they don't heal with Matron and stuff. I am still attack lowering though, so it should be okay. Uh, and if I want to, I can buff or remove as well, which I think I might. I might just uh, buff remove. Oh, he's not taunting. Okay, going for the kill on uh, Meliodas. Sure, I have I have uh, Tarmio link on Meliodas because I uh, imagine he would be the biggest target, being the uh, main DPS of the team. Do you even have Tarmio link? You do. Okay. I don't want to debuff. Uh, I won't debuff anymore. Let me s uh, let me do this, and then move in with the single targets to make sure she dies. Well, yeah, for for whatever reason you want to get eleven thousand points, because I mean when there is top one hundred ungeared, right? Which top one hundred ungeared is chaotic as hell. Like, <laughs> there's no limit to how many times you can play. It's all about, like, how many gems you can spend on stamina, basically. Um, this is, you know, a very fast and consistent team that I think can win against every other team. Where, I think, again, Mono Green is really going to struggle against those Galfer teams. No, not Galfer, uh, sorry. The, the Blue Liz teams because of the AoE situation. Even if you have Galfer, you the, the Liz can cleanse. So, I don't know. I think just because the buffer move. Um, 
Okay, good situation. See, if I had all AOEs, I'd be in trouble, but I actually have single targets to deal with this situation here. Uh, who has Tarmila? You don't have Tarmila because you have, uh, you have uh, Ludo CL. So let's just... Uh, and I don't have... Make sure he dies. And I don't have um, Esterosa either, so he doesn't consume my buffs whenever I attack, right? So, no. We only because of the sheer amount of these teams, right? With Fraudrin, with Liz, that I'm saying this might actually be the best team. If not for them, I'll honestly be still on the wave of the... Uh, the mono green. Uh, can I kill Akina here? With the two AoEs. I think I might be able to. Uh, but then I give ultimate to bomb. Really don't want that. Let's. Um... Kind of annoying. Didn't get any melee, melee uh, single targets. Uh, there's no way he kills Zaldras, right? Maybe he could. We'll do this just do some damage. Oh, Seldra's doing damage. Oh, my, <laughs> that's actually pretty good from Zaldra's, you know. That was actually pretty good from him. All the attack related stat increases we have here, right? With Zaldra's Kusok, I mean, Shemlik does give Pierce, which I guess helps as well, right? Uh, this will kill her. Then we just start working on you. I'm gonna melee his ultimate. No, don't go for Fraudrin. Don't go for Fraudrin. No! <laughs> uh, Zaldra's can take it back. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I didn't think Chan Oh, I didn't think Chandler would kill. Okay, it's not 6-6 six, six spawn. I, I think, because he didn't kill Melly. At least Melly would have died. It is a 6-6 six, six spawn. Okay. Uh, interesting. God damn it. Well. It all worked out anyways. It is funny though, because... As these demon characters were coming out, Zeldris was a bit of a disappointment when it came down to uh, how he was designed. You know, most people really wanted a DPS Zeldris opposed to, you know, the past two we've got, both green Zeldris and this Zeldris. Um, and then Chandler was like a Lamau, like he's just worse than the counter Chandler. And, but now, putting all the pieces together, it, it's understandable what they were like going through and, and building with the demons, right? It's just a question, why did, like, I know, okay? They have three workers, so, sure. They don't have people to just make so many characters, but they could have easily released these characters, like, less further apart. Like, they could have easily released Zaldrus and Astorosa in one banner, right? They should kill both of them. I don't know about him. Oh, uh, you have Tarmil and Cray? No, okay. Can I just kill him? Uh, they could have easily released Zeldris and Esterosa in one banner. I think they could have easily been the same, like in the same banner. If if not, if they didn't want to, you know, put two of the most popular demons in one banner, sure. Put him and put, put Esterosa and Kusok, right? The most popular and the least popular. Or maybe Zaldra's in Kusok. That would make more sense. I don't know. Um, I don't know. The, the banner should have been like divided like that. It shouldn't have been one for each banner throughout months. It spanned months between these characters, right? Um, it just made us so confused about like what is this direction they're taking with the new Chandler and stuff like that. But you know, again, using them all together, I, I see what they were going for. I just very like the execution of these releases was so strange. Very, very strange. Did they plan on releasing Philo specifically so that Kusak would counter her? It's so strange.
Thankfully though, if you did skip Chandler and you are planning on skipping Kusok, these two characters are SSR Tekka characters, so don't feel pressured to, you know, chase them or anything like that. I think that especially, um, especially Chandler. I mean, Chandler is, the Pierce card is really nice, but I think Kusok really, I, I don't know why I'm, uh, I'm such a big fan of the Kusok. Uh, I want to throw Pierce him. Let's do this. I was expecting dodge food. Well, goodbye then. Ooh, Taramiel Link. So close. So close. But yeah, also, I assume that what they were planning on doing is not actually letting Trailer Melly uh, be in here with uh, the demons and actually Esterosa. So, like, a Maybe Estorosa, Kusok, and, and Chandler in the front, Zaljus in the back. So that, or maybe Kusok in the front and Chandler in the back. Because Chandler buffs Pierce, so they want you to use a Pierce card. But they also release all these demons. They must want you to also use Estorosa, right? Not just for the Meliodas. I don't know. But yeah, Kusok and, and Chandler being SSR Tika characters is good. Again, like I said, Zaljus should have also been starting a character. I, I, it makes no sense for him to be a fast, uh, to be a seasonal character. It makes zero sense. He 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 has no business being seasonal, whatsoever. <laughs> There's zero reason for him to be. Um, but you know, when these characters start getting holy relics as well, which who knows when that's gonna happen? They've they've been like super weird about releasing dog relics. Like we haven't had a relic period in so long, right? It's been so long since we have the, we've had a relic. Um, yeah, we, we haven't had a relic in so long. And... I don't know if, oh, one more. Nice. Um, I wonder if they're gonna start dishing these, like, new demons, some relics. I mean, Assault Mally. Assault Mally relic is, like, what we've been, you know, hoping should be, like, super good. I'm really excited for that one. I think these new demons will take a while, even though... When it came to the Archangels, um, you know, Tarmiel and Sauriel got their relics relatively fast. I mean, Tarmiel got his relic at release, right? But I think these demons might take a little longer. Um, I think I'll end it here. Not a little 9 win streak, so yeah. Let me know what you think of the, uh, the new demon team. Although, demons have so many good characters now. That it's like kind of funny because you can you can mishmash the characters and I guess it wasn't nine I, I played before this right but you can mishmash the characters and you know make different combinations if you want to use assault melee even if you want to use Sigurd you want to use the old Chandler the new Chandler the old Zaldris the new Zaldris so many different moving parts new Astarosa right so um, yeah I mean that's nice this means by the way. I think the next step is more goddesses. So, Mael, uh, new versions of Sauriel and Tarmiel, maybe festival versions of them. Since we have a festival Kusaka, I see no reason to not have a festival uh, Sauriel. Uh, we'll see. The future is looking pretty interesting.